Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at the activity completion uh, option within largely almost anything that you're going to put in your Moodle course. So as always when you're in your Moodle course you're going to turn edit mode on and we're going to come down and we're just going to add an activity or resource. Now by and large almost anything that we add it's not going to matter this is going to show up across the board uh, so in this case let's actually pick a file so maybe this is a document that you want students to take a look at to learn about etc all of that's great you would give it a title so we're going to go with something creative like title you would want to upload the actual document itself and so in this case i am just going to grab something that is on my desktop right now so here we go, we're throwing in a picture of a turkey. So all of that's great, now I can actually do this. The big thing I want to do is come down here to activity completion. And under activity completion, I'm gonna have three choices. The first is to not indicate any activity completion. So if you did this, you there would be no uh, completion tracking that's created. And that's fine, there may be things you want to do that for. For instance, if you have a a Zoom link that is in your course, you may not need that because they're going to need to click on it every time, so there's it's never really a complete thing. Uh, the syllabus might be another example, but then there might be other things, like say this document or this, this file was something you wanted them to do, you might decide you want them to manually mark when the activity is complete, and so if this is selected, uh, what will happen is they'll see the activity and right next to it they'll, there'll be a little box, and we'll look at this in a moment, that says uh, mark as done. Uh, what's also nice is you can identify when you want them to or when you expect them to complete this on. So not so much a due date, but like you should be done with this by then. So you can set that for whenever you want. Um, and this will show up on uh, the student's homepage as uh, under the heading upcoming events. So you can leave it like this. Um, that's that is one option i think the one that we're advocating more for is show activity complete when conditions are met and so what this is is when you set it up like this it it gives it will often give you a list of different choices in this case for this uh because this is just a, a file the only required option would be to view it uh, we'll look at uh, discussion and we'll see that there's a different set of activity completions but the way this is set up is that once the student views it it automatically marks it done so the student doesn't have to mark it done um, whether you use students can manually mark or activity as complete when conditions are met the uh, the goal is to help students make it more visually clear what they have done and haven't done uh, there is some thinking here about you know whichever one you choose you want to use that one consistently consistently or make it clear to the students about the differences otherwise it's not going to be clear um, you know when some things are automatically marked as done within the system and other ones they have to mark as done so just keep keeping in mind which one you want to use. All right, so we're going to hit save and return to course. And that's going to pop up again down here. This is the, the file that we had. And notice on the right, it says uh, to do view. So I've done it. It's all set. Uh, you know, if I want to take a look at it, then once I do, it's going to say done. I have viewed it. Perfect. And there's the turkey. So the other option which is mark is done are like these up here at the top so you notice this had a different one and so i did mark is done so if i want to say this is done i click and it just says done if i want to undo that i can click on it again and it's undone um, so keep that in mind and then the other option i wanted to briefly talk about was in discussions you can see um, under activity completion you get a bit more uh, information so this is a forum you know if you want to have a discussion and again here you have these conditions uh, or here you have these parameters in this case show uh, activity as complete when conditions are met it gives you several different boxes to choose from so you can decide they not only have to do it but for the idea is that each box checked is something else they have to do. So I, in this case, I said they need to reply to two, but I could change that and say, nope, you need to just uh, post or, uh, you know, post a discussion or reply to, maybe I'm going to say three people. Um, you can decide if this was a graded one to, you know, um, graded the, the grade required or the passing grade required to complete this. My rule of thumb is I don't really 
do the completion is when they get a grade, I do the completion when they've done their part, right? So my goal is I want the students, once they are done, they have submitted to know that they've done it. Now it's on me to obviously get the, you know, to look at it and give feedback. But whenever you're doing assignments or activities and um, you have the activity completion function, with a grade option. I usually ignore that and more focus on, you know, the student viewing it and the student submitting it. So that is the activity function. It's really helpful for our students. It's re it helps make things a lot more clear about what they need to do. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.